Well, it is awesome to see all of you this morning. Thanks for coming up, and thanks for coming to worship. It's fun to see you here today. We're going to start this morning with a prayer, and Pastor Anjanette introduced this to us last week, and we're going to pray it again this week. I have a couple of printouts for those of you that are reading words, uh, and we'll say it line by line. So for those of you who aren't reading, you can repeat after me, and then we're going to pray it all together as a congregation. But let's do this line by line. This is the prayer that we're praying together this season of Lent. For this new day with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for everything your goodness sends, we thank you, dearest Lord. Amen. That was a good run through. Let's try it all together. All right, let us pray. For this new day with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for everything your goodness sends, we thank you, dearest Lord. Amen. And that is a beautiful prayer for Lent when we remember what Jesus has done for us we're going to remember that in a special way today, actually. We just heard a story about Jesus washing what? Feet. Yeah, kind of weird. Kind of a strange story. Now, how many of you ever get dirty feet? Some of you? Some of you do. Some of us think that our feet never get dirty. But in fact, I've been convinced over the last few months that that is not true. You maybe know that, that my family has a new baby, baby Rafe who's going to be almost five months old, so not as new as he used to be. But I was really surprised when I first met Rafe, when he first came to our family, and I looked down at his feet after a few days. Now, Rafe has never walked a day in his life outside. It's been too cold. So he's been outside, but he's never had his feet on the ground. So you would think his feet would never get dirty, right? Well, when I looked at his feet, I looked in between the toes And there's lots of stuff in there. (laughs) And I couldn't believe it. Where did this come from, I thought? Dirty feet. Well, if even Rafe has dirty feet, then I suspect all of us get dirty feet from time to time. Yet we hear that Jesus comes to clean them. Well, Jesus does more than that. Because just like dirty feet, all of us also have sin. All of us also do things that we're not supposed to. Even when it doesn't seem like it. Like it seems like Rafe would never have dirty feet. But Jesus comes now not just to clean feet, but to forgive us of our sins. So this is now what he does for you. So the next time you smell your feet or someone else's, you can be reminded that Jesus has come not only to clean feet, but to forgive you all of your sins. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you have gathered us here. I now pray your blessing on each of these, your children. Remind them each day that you have come to clean them completely. Feet, hands, head, and whole life. Amen. Thanks for coming up. You can go back and worship with your family.